All right, so we continue talking hockey on the Sportsmax Zone. The inaugural edition of the Hockey Fives World Cup in 2024 will feature two men's teams from the Caribbean, as we told you before, Jamaica and of course Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we featured Jamaica earlier and now it's time to head to the Twin Island Republic. The Trinbegonians were runners-up to the United States at the Pan American Qualifying Tournament, which ended on Sunday in Kingston. In the final, TNT drew to all with Team USA, this after taking the lead twice, first through Pes Mikel and then through the tournament's most valuable player, Teague Makano. Although Tr Trinidad and Tobago went on to lose 3-2 in the penalty shootout, qualification was already secured. Joining us via Zoom to discuss this momentous achievement is the head coach of the team, Darren Cowie, and the MVP himself, Teague Makano. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. All right, so coach, I'll start with you. Congratulations to Trinidad and Tobago. How does it feel to know that you'll be heading to the World Cup come next year? It feels amazing. I mean, everyone who's asked me so far, I'll, I'll just have that same response. It's <laughs> amazing um, to come out with this achievement, not just for the, I guess, the sport in Trinidad and Tobago, but of course for the guys the kind of effort that they put out throughout the uh, preparation phase and seeing that come to fruition throughout the tournament as we grew from game to game, performance to performance, um, culminating, of course, in the semi-final, which was the World Cup qualification match. And then in the final as well with the performance, just not getting the results in the final. It is uh, an amazing feeling and I, I feel really proud of the guys for, for the effort they put. Yes, and... What's the response like to the sport of hockey in Trinidad and Tobago? Where do you tr train and whatnot? It's it's not a very huge sport. Of course, it will come it will come behind the likes of um, football and cricket. Uh, but we do have a, a surface that's going to be back up and running in the next um, few weeks. Uh, but right now, we are training on an indoor facility. I'm actually at the facility right now because our sessions resume almost immediately we came back in the country last night and um we're gonna start back training tonight because we have to prep for csc games so same as you, you heard from the jamaicans uh they turn their focus back to the lovens part of the game for csc we also have to qualify for panam through csc yeah teague this one is for you how was your experience here in jamaica and what was the biggest takeaway um yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the whole, the whole tournament, the atmosphere, the fans, the music, everything. My biggest takeaway is just the camaraderie that we and the team was able to build while preparing for this tournament and playing this tournament. And I think it set us up very good for our preparations going into the CAC games. You were named the competition's MVP. You ended with 17 goals. That's a lot. Talk to me about the work that went into getting you ready for this moment and how does it feel to be crowned MVP? It feels, it feels <laughs> amazing, I must say. But I can't just take all the credit for myself. I think it would not have been possible without the team and the players that were around me. Um, the whole focus for us was just on performance and the training that we did beforehand enabled me to achieve what I achieved at, at this tournament. Coach, what are the strengths of this Trinidad and Tobago hockey team? What makes this bunch of men different from what you would have worked with previously? And now they're heading to the World Cup. I think these guys um, have, a, have a nice um, chemistry. That's something we've been working on a lot. Just constantly building that chemistry and, and being able to not just have that chemistry on field, but also off field. These guys are very good friends. Um, they do go out together, line together, and it, it's almost like a close-knit family. And not just, and the beauty of it is not just these 10 guys that competed in the tournament. We have a 30-man training squad that um, at any point in time could make up our our indoor team, our 11 team, or now our hockey five team as well too. So that that is a huge difference that we are able to to gel together on and off the field, and it shows especially on the field when we're ready to to play combination, play good counter attack, hockey, good speed and good skill. Um, yeah, those are the benefits for for me as a coach. It makes it makes my life so much easier. 
I will have to say the same as Tegan. As much as Tegan will be really humble about it, he he is this. Uh, or he told him as well. So this was like his breakout tournament where, you know, he completely took over. And he's right in saying that it was easy for him to do that because of the support that he had around him, that supporting cast that constantly allowed him to be T, to be himself. And um, you know, all of us here are really proud of his performance, but also of all the players' performance. Yes, and Teague, well, you heard from Coach himself, he has a lot of respect for you and a lot of praises for what you did here in Jamaica. When you think about the World Cup next year, what are some areas of your game that you would like to improve on personally? If you are, when we think World Cup, we think competing among the best. Um, for me, I would always want to just get fitter and fitter. I think you could never be too fit. It would just allow me to be on the field as long as possible, run as hard as possible. And then just learning all for the experiences that I got in this tournament where I felt short, I would like to revisit those things um, with just a little bit more composure, maybe a little bit more leadership on the field. I know I'm still one of the younger players on the team, but I am getting a lot of experience and I like to show this experience and pass on the knowledge to some of the teammates that might not be getting the chances that I have. All right, so... I do know, because I'm Trini, just like both of you, the response to hockey in Trinidad and Tobago. Anything you want to say to corporate Trinidad and Tobago when it comes to sponsorship, support, and all that? Um, yeah. Um, we would be very open to any sort of sponsorships. A lot of the guys, they, we all work nine to five, so this is something that we do in our free time. It can be quite difficult at times, so any help from the outside vicinity doesn't have to be just in hockey, but anyone outside willing to provide, I don't know, maybe gym memberships or sponsoring some clothing or anything like that would go a long way for the team. And Teague, do you think heading to the World Cup and performing very well at the World Cup will raise the respect that hockey has in Trinidad and Tobago and encourage youngsters to pick up the sport? Yes, 100%. I would love to see the youngsters in schools and maybe not if you're not in school, I would love for them to come and watch a hockey match. We just recently started back our league and I would encourage every one of them to come out, pick up a hockey stick, get a ball, just practice a little bit. And in no time at all, with the right guidance, the right training, with the, with the current staff that we have, there's a very high possibility that they could be one of us traveling in the world and competing at some of the highest levels against some of the best players in the world. Gentlemen, I want to thank you so much. Uh, congrats on this great achievement. Continue to fly the red, white and black very, very high. Coach Darren Cowie, thank you so much. And of course, the MVP himself, Teague Mercano. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. No problem. Have a good night. Let's take a break now.